Welcome to 100% LCFC, I'm Phil and this is John. Hi John. Hi, it's a bit windy today as it well. Is. It's quite pretty, it's quite a nice yeah. day down here at the King Power Stadium, isn't it? Yeah, it is actually, yeah, but um, I'd rather be indoors at the moment. But hey, we're here oh, at the King Power Stadium. The wind's blowing us over. <laughs> John, it's an international week uh, break, which is quite nice, gives all us Leicester fans. It's been a frantic last three or four weeks, hasn't it? With, if we go back to where when Claudio got the sack. Yeah. So time to, take, time to take a breath, isn't it, really, as well? Yeah. And uh, with the international game, uh, obviously against Germany, I thought England were the three at the back system. It was a trial system that Gareth Southgate um, you know, talked about, and I think they played well. And they kind of deserve better than losing 1-0. I guess, you know, the guy who scored the goal, it was his last game for Germany, so we'll give him that. Good, but, yeah. but I think, you know, it's moving forward they can take a lot of encouragement from that how do we think Jamie Vardy played in that John what, what do you think he, first off he had a few he was involved a little bit yeah it was interesting it was interesting at half time they were saying that he needs to play a, a bit further forward on, yeah, on the, the shoulder, shoulder of the defender but you don't know what instructions he had from the manager oh. before um, yeah he had that one he went over the goalkeeper one of them where you try a dive and it didn't work did it Jamie it, Vardy it, it, diving it, it, what are you about he never kinda, does that does it he kind of leapt in the air but uh, you know, we, we should have had a goal. We hit the post and then, you know, should have scored maybe. But at the end of the day, it was more about the way they played. And I think the three at the back worked. Everybody worked really hard. And going into the Lithuania game on Sunday, I think they'll take great encouragement from that. Obviously, with a few players out as well, you could say. I struggled to put my finger on it. Probably if we had Mr. Alan Young down here, he'd suss it out. But Jamie Vardy in England just doesn't just doesn't seem ever like it looks quite right. I... I'd love to see Vardy there. I'd love to see him play like, like he does down here for Leicester. With well, no drink but water there. Know. I wonder whether the drink water could they mention drink water had got an injury? Didn't yeah. They? Well, before the West Ham game, which we went to, they said drink water's pulled out the England squad yeah. for a groin injury. Well, he played very well in that 95 minutes down it's at the London Stadium. So maybe we need drink I water at midfield for Vardy to click. Yeah. Well. Asking looking, a lot. Looking back at the last couple of matches, obviously we had we've had Liverpool and Hull and West Ham, three fantastic yeah. um, Premier League victories. Which do you think was the most important out of those, or were they all? Well, I think they all were, obviously, because it's it's pulled us up the table where we need to be. I went to the Liverpool game with you. That was excellent. That was kind of the the post Claudio Ranieri game, and we all said we play a lot. We used to last season, yeah. and that kind of carried on. I think it get, they gained momentum from that. Uh, going into the next game and then we thought well I actually thought then can we do it away from home because that was the test two goals early on I mean West Ham were all over the place weren't they the um, I went to that game John and I think the three different games the Liverpool game was good to see us beat a, a, a big team yeah, and yeah. obviously there was a lot of that was on the back of Ranieri you never know what you're going to get with Liverpool either Hull was good because we went behind and they're yeah, down there with yeah. us so that was a relegation scrap West Ham away they're going through mixed reactions, but on away game, like say, first away win all season. Well, you know, congrats to Casper Schmeichel, because that save at the end was Peter Schmeichel, his dad all over, wasn't it? Uh, as, the, as the analyst said at the time. Uh, but great to get that win away, especially going into this break, because, you know, we got likes of Everton on the way now and, and so on. And you're talking about Casper there, he has been superb. Yeah, I think yeah. he's been one of those players who all season has, has been at that level he was at last year. Lots of rumours of him being... You know where they're well, rumouring yeah, he might go. Yeah, I mean, this the time of season when you get lots of rumours about players. Uh, we'll probably talk about another one a bit later on yeah. as well. We had rumours. Well, yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it, it's going to happen, isn't it? Uh, and you, I mean, you, from Shakespeare's point of view, though, the players have done the job. Uh, they can take a bit of a break, the ones that are not on the international duty. Uh, West Morgan obviously missing against West Ham. I've had mixed reports about how Belawan played. I thought he was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what a lot of people okay, did yeah. say that, but some were saying, you know, not, but hey. I mean, from what I could see, John, the view, <laughs> the view at the London Stadium for football and the whole it's atmosphere not, not is great. diabolical. I, really, I feel sorry for the West Ham fans. What we could see, just about see Casper when he was in our goal at our end. At the other end, I just, we didn't even know Vardy had scored till half time or whenever when somebody told us. So I guess the thing, on, to see. the thing on everybody's lips now is that they to go in Madrid and I think you were telling me the other day about the lack of flights going out there yeah, I know. and people looking, at, people looking at alternative ways of getting there and probably have to go land and sea and so on but well, uh, that's a bit disappointing for, for people who want to go isn't it? I'm sure there'll be lots of the Blue Army out there. We, we are talking to ADT Taxes about taking a couple of cabs driving down yeah, from Leicester. Yeah. Just, it's not that out the realms either 
catch the ferry well, down to Calais a, or Bilbao it, and drive well, down. Well, it's so. kind of a one-off in, in, in some ways, isn't it? Mm. And uh, if people have got the time to do that, because it's uh, a hell of a way to go in that uh, in that format, I suppose. So that is coming up uh, shortly, isn't it? Uh, the obviously the Atletico. Yeah matches are sandwiched in there is a Crystal Palace match games are being rearranged left right and central a little bit aren't they I know Arsenal's been pushed well I think Everton before that is kind of like an important one as well isn't it yeah you fancying another away win maybe there well I think I think my initial reaction is I'll probably take a point from that uh, I think what they've got to try and do is keep the momentum going And but you know uh, Craig Shakespeare reacting to a loss would be a kind of interesting one, but I hope we don't have to no. cross that barrier. Obviously. And that, that was one of the things we put out there. We put a Twitter poll out there, and we asked fans, "Do they think Leicester will finish in the top half or the bottom half?" And obviously, they're all Leicester fans. We're all mad. But I think I think 75% thought we can finish in the top half of the table. Well, that would be very good. I think if you uh, most people, I think around the beginning of the season, were saying if we finish in the top 10, that would be good. Top 10 and Champions League. Yeah, I mean final. Hey, look. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Uh, now we're now we're in the quarterfinal. You just don't know. People are saying, you know, it's going to be we're going to get knocked out. We've been saying that since the beginning. We won, we won the you know the league, and now we're in the the last eight. I think the the, the Atletico game is we we've, we've just beaten the team who's slightly above them in the league. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. we've got every chance against them. We got the away leg first, which I think is massive. I think that was the. I mean, obviously, we look back to Atletico, and I remember that because I was around it at the time, the late nineties. Yeah. But hey, you can't consider that now completely different scenario and I know people like to look at history but forget that we, I, it's I'd about actually, today isn't it I'd actually argue John Atletico and Madrid are a far better team today yes. than they were 20 years ago yeah. they've got to the two out of the last three Champions well, League we, finals they've won well, the Europa League well obviously the referee and all that we all oh, know dear, yeah. that's the history but remember that he sent, he, he sent yeah, off Gary Parker didn't he yeah, like, take your free kick too quickly took it too quick yeah it, it was all mad it was it all was. mad but you know let's hope the fans can get out of there <laughs> literally being blown <laughs> so, no, John, let's leave it there. Let's go and get a cup of tea at the wall. Thank yeah, you for joining thank us. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it really is.